Hello and welcome to a $30 budget commander deck. I just want to say this deck is really cool actually. It's mono white and Teshar is our commander and surprisingly it's super powerful. It's like Sun Titan on a stick when you cast historic spells. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Turns out there's something to celebrate this episode. That's right, 25 subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much for believing in this channel and believing in me for making some deck techs that you guys like. This is really just a celebration of you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Let's get on with the video. So let's talk about our commander, Teshar, Ancestor's Apostle for 3 and a white. It's a legendary bird cleric, flying 2-2. Two -two. Whenever you cast a historic spell, return target creature card with converted mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So of course in every deck we're going to need some ramp, so let's talk about that. First up is Mycosynth Wellspring for 2 mana. When Mycosynth Wellspring enters the battlefield or is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. Next is Pilgrim's Eye for 3 mana. It's a 1-1 one, one creature with flying. When Pilgrim's Eye enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Last we have Oreskos Explorer for 1 colorless and a white. It's a 2-2 two, two cat scout. When Oreskos Explorer enters the battlefield, search your library for up to X playing cards, where X is the number of players who control more lands than you. Reveal those cards, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. Category number two is Cardra, another important part of our deck. One of my favorite white cards is Mentor of the Meek for two and white. It's a human soldier 2-2. Two, two. When another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one colorless mana. If you do, draw a card. Up next is Skyscanner for 3 colorless, it's a 1-1 one, one Thopter. It has flying. When Skyscanner enters the battlefield, draw a card. Last we have Filigree Familiar for 3 colorless, it's a 2-2 two, two Fox. When it enters the battlefield, you gain 2 life, and when it dies, you draw a card. Category number 3 is Grave Interaction. First is Salvager of Ruin for 3 colorless, it's a 2-1 Construct. Sacrifice Salvager of Ruin, choose target permanent card in your graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn, return it to your hand. Next is personally my favorite in this deck, Desecrated Tomb for 3 colorless, it's an artifact. It says, whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, create a 1-1 one -one black bat creature token with flying. Next is Restoration Specialist for a colorless and a white, it's a 2-1 dwarf artificer. Pay a white. Sacrifice Restoration Specialist. Return up to one target artifact card and up to one target enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. Category number four is gonna be discard. Just don't discard what I'm about to say. First up is Gate to the Afterlife for three colors. It's an artifact. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, you gain one life, then you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Next is Hazaret's Monument for 3 colorless. It doesn't really affect the deck, but red creature spells you cast cost 1 less to cast. Now onto the important part. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. With all this discarding, we're filling up our graveyard for more options for us to bring back those 3 converted mana cost creatures. For our last category, number 5, Sack Outlets. First is Fanatical Devotion for two and a white. It's an enchantment, and it says, Sacrifice a creature, regenerate target creature. Next, we have Trading Post, which is a classic for four colorless, and it's an artifact. It has four options, the first one being pay one, tap it, discard a card, you gain four life. Pay one, tap it, pay one life, create a zero one goat creature token. Pay one, tap, sacrifice a creature. Return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Pay one, tap, sacrifice an artifact, draw a card. Last, we have Thermal Navigator for three colors. It's a 2-2 two -two artifact creature. Sacrifice an artifact, Thermal Navigator gains flying until end of turn. And that's it guys, this has been the $30 budget commander. It's mono white, believe it or not. 
and it's not too bad. It's actually a lot of fun. A lot of interaction with the graveyard and discarding. It's super nice. Again, thank you guys so much for the 25 subscribers so far. I encourage you to tell your friends if you think this is something they would enjoy. And please leave a comment below on what commander you'd like to see a deck tech of next. This has been Triple Mango Threat. I'll see you in the next one. A peace.